So here recently, ASIC miners switched to solo mining. And there's been discussion whether this is really a good idea or not. So I kind of want to break this down and explain it real quick. So you have pool mining and you have solo mining. Solo mining, you get from the word solo, meaning you mine by yourself. And this would incline that you would literally you know, mine through these blocks and maybe you get lucky to find a block that holds 25 bitcoins, which is then how you get paid for mining. Um, but the problem with this is the smaller amount of mining power you have, the less efficient it is. If I have one one millionth of the total mining power of Bitcoin, the likelihood of me ever breaking a block is almost impossible. It could happen, but very, very unlikely. So really, solo mining only is efficient to people that maybe have 5% of the total network hash rate or higher. Really, to be honest, I wouldn't even consider it if you didn't have at least 20%. And that's just my personal opinion, but the reward factor is really integrated in why you would want to solo mine. So ASIC miner holds anywhere roughly between 25 to 45% of the total mining power. It changes because you know they sell boards off, they get new batches in, so they constantly are changing their hash rate up. But they have such a large percentile of the mining distribution that for them the solo mine, yes, solo mining is erotic and you're not gonna get, you know, block returns and bitcoins on a, you know, weekly or a um, scheduled basis. You, you're more likely to find them and mine them and it, it has its advantages. For instance, you don't pay a pool mining fee. So, you know, they have their own reasons for it and I think it is a good decision. The re But I want to go back and explain pool mining for the people that don't understand pool mining. And I don't want to get too complicated into it, but pool mining is basically a group of miners come together and they all mine and no matter who finds the block, they all share it based on how much they contributed to the total mining hash rate of the pool. So that's basically what mining is in a pool setup. I'm going to do a video explaining this later on, so if you're still kind of confused, just wait. I'll post a video on how to do that. But one thing that comes of the soul mining, which I found was kind of interesting, is ASIC miner shares have been halted. Now, no, they're, they're still going to come out, but the problem is, is when you're solo mining, you, you're mining fresh new blocks. So for it to get confirmed by the network, you have to have 100 blocks to, for confirmation. Now, I did a little math for you guys. 100 blocks, and every block takes about, on average, 10 minutes. So this is anywhere between 16 and 17 hours. So from the point they mine blocks to the day they're going to give dividends, there's this fresh block ratio. Now, in a mining pool, they keep Bitcoins on reserve, so that they're always able to just send out dividends, you know, on a scheduled basis. Again, like I just talked about, solo mining it has its disadvantages, but um, it freaked a lot of people out. Now, of course, we see, you know, it's not that big a deal. You'll get your dividends. Actually, as of right now, I just checked the forms like 10 minutes ago before I started this video, and they, people were already confirming. Some people had one confirmation, some people had six on their um, Bitcoin clients. So, they stick minor shares are out. One interesting thing is a... Um, PM share called TAT has already released their um, dividends. And the reasoning for this is they keep, again, like a pool on reserve. Now, it's kind of risky, but knowing ASIC miner and knowing that they're going to give their dividends and they already released the amount of dividend per share, it's not really that risky. Um, BTC.co, BTCT.co, uh, the one I use to get ASIC miner PT shares, they wait until they receive it. So, Burnside gets them for all the shares and then he passes them through through the exchange site to the shareholders which they receive on so it's a little bit more complex um, easier to you know liquefy your shares and so you you pay in that and not be able to get your dividends as quickly using a PT share and PT just stands for pass through share so I really hope I explained this to you guys I really want to break down you know why they're so mining and then the effects of that to how dividend holders are basically being forced to wait 16 hours, which I don't think is that big a deal, but to some it is. So um, thanks for watching.